Eat your heart out, YouTube. This is Cannibal Red coming at you with episode number nine of our Monster Hunter 4 Ultimate Let's Play. So last time, if you missed it, we took down the Nursilla, which was basically building a giant web to stop this town from getting its uh, lava. But we've obviously got that running now, and the chief is ready to send us on our way to the next town, which I believe is called Cathar. So let's do it. Well, Hunter, it looks like the time has come for you to set sail. But before you do, I need to tell you one thing. There are dangerous monsters, so consider yourself duly, um, duly warned. Anything at all could happen once you go out there, see? Make sure you're fully prepared. That means your item pouch, your blah, everything, right enough at lecturing. So are you ready to head to your next destination? I believe we are. Right, all aboard the Arlock. The Arlock is our new ship, which is beautiful. Look at this thing. It's huge. And beautiful. And I didn't realize Hearth was even connected to water, but I guess it was. Water, volcano, I guess. I don't know. The man. Oh, and Little Miss Forge has decided to join us. To be our, like, professional... Armor, decorator, maker, person. Hmm. A storm on the horizon. And stuff just got intense. Oh my gosh, tornadoes. Uh, get out of the way! Under the deck! Quickly! That's not his voice, though. Uh, a beast from the depths. What the frick is that? Giant, massive, black shadow of death. It's... Is it toothless? Oh, it's not. Alright, well. It looks like the sea is not so safe. Not because of sea dragons, but because of freaking flying... Holy crap, monsters. Hey, it is toothless! He might have teeth, though. Crimey, criminy! What the hell kind of monster is that? Well, this is no time for flipping through the beastie area, Hunter. You gotta repel that thing pronto. Try to wear it down its health with two ballista and the dragonator on the side. You can fire either ballista after you load it with ballista ammo. You'll find some lined up at the freight of the main deck. The dragonator's a whole nother story. It's built at the prow of the ship, and it packs one heck of a punch. The activation switch is on the ship's upper deck, up the stairs in the front of the deck. When you get the monster in the, right in front of him, Dragonate him! Just make sure you get the timing right. Don't forget, as always, if you faint three times, the battle considered lost, and you'll find yourself back in hearth. Well, that would suck, because it means we would all have died at sea. So don't let that happen, Kindred Hunter. Good luck! I know you can do it. I can defeat Toothless. And it looks like I just ran right through that blast. Nay, sir. Oh, wait, I just stepped in like a black hole. Oh, no, he hit me. Doodle, are you okay? Don't get... Did, uh... Don't tell me you caught it, too. Oh, no! You're exhibiting the same signs. I just checked the latest dispatches. Uh, as time passes by, your take damage, the infection will get steadily worse. I did step in like a black hole of nastiness. You have to act quickly before the virus consumes you. You have to boost your... Immunity and overcome it! Doodle, give it everything you've got and attack monsters as much as possible to weaken the virus's hold on you. So I basically beat up other monsters to get rid of my own sickness? That sounds beautiful. It's exactly how it works. I'll keep research, uh, researching your condition. Take care of yourself until we can figure this out. So I'll take, like, what, incremental damage? Whatever, this dude's going down. Mother liquor! Right in the face! Oh, I should probably target him. That would be a good, good idea. I don't know. <laughs> All right, Toothless. I've had just about enough of this nonsense, and it's just begun. So since he's over there now, I guess I need to focus on using these ballistas, right? Let's do it. I keep running around the wrong way, though. Not the poison. All right. Oh, I thought that was, like, someone fainting. It was just ballista ammo. No, 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 bad position! 
Dude, I Superman dived the crap out of that. Yeah, swoop around. I don't care. I'll chop your freaking tail off. Come here. This dragon is huge, though. Alright, I was underneath you, so you couldn't do damage. You are such a loser. I mean, you look freaking awesome as heck. Doodle, I've learned more about the mysterious virus that you've caught, and I think I have some good news. Those who have overcome the virus because it could take hold before it could take hold report experiencing a temporary boost in strength. What? You fought off the virus already? That's amazing. This could be your big chance. Get that power boost to use. Yes, I will destroy you. All right, the ship is so small that I can pretty much hit him no matter where he is. Which is good. But can he take damage from things that aren't this ballista? Ow. Okay, let's just grab more ammo for that really quick. How about that? Well, I'm assuming since it gave us a damage boost, it does mean that we can actually hurt it while it's on the boat. It doesn't have to be the ballista. Where is he going? Okay. Dangerous here. Wait, the Dragonator! You fiendish fiend! I'll have your head! Die! <laughs> yes, direct hit! Alright, so I like the Dragonator. Coming out the front of our whale. <laughs> and narrowly dodge. I'm pretty sure the Dragonator has like a recharge time that's why I'm not like running back over there because I don't think we can use it like over and over again all right eight nine and ten should be all we can hold of the ballista ammo it is fire at will ouchies okay we should heal all right I'm feeling better now Oh! Bilbo just shot him! Ouchies. Once you're on that ballista... Oh, snot! What was that? Okay, we fell off the ship. Bilbo healed us a little bit, but I really thought we were, we were gonna die right there. Whew. Okay, so we're not dead. And there are some first aids, so we don't have to use our own. Let's just, uh... Hey, Bubble will join us. Let's just pop that. It looks like we're infected with the virus again. So we have to continually overcome it throughout the match by dealing damage to him. Doodle, I've learned more about the mysterious virus you caught. Pretty disturbing stuff, I'm afraid to say. If you can't fight off the virus in time, it'll saturate your entire body. Eventually, you'll lose your natural ability to heal and take increased damage. And, well, I have to say, but it looks like that's exactly what's happened to you. This isn't good, Doodle. Please be careful. I mean, more careful. I mean, extremely more careful. So we're going to be taking more damage, which is pretty much horrible. But, it, dude, underneath his chest is so safe. Just saying. For anyone fighting this monster at home, get under his chest. Don't do it. Oh, jeez. I'm gonna go hide behind something and uh, pop this. Yeah, I'm just gonna pop this first aid. I'm thinking I'm gonna pop another one. The Dragonator is ready to use. Well, if he would go over there, I feel like you're a douche. Fire! No, 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 no. There we go. You, I've repelled the monster slash monsters. That's right, Toothless. You've been defeated. It looks like all we had to do was repel it. We didn't have to kill it. Mm, do it. Receive items. Send items to box. Oh, look. We got one Gormagala scale. All right. That's an intense name. Gormagala. That's right. Fly. Back to your nest with you. And it looks like we're like in the middle of the sea, so I don't know where he even freaking came from. Or under. You made it. Uh, good job. What's that? Oh no. It's coming back for seconds. It wants me leg. 
Oh, snap. That boat must have been going so freaking fast. Ah. Oh, the Ace Commander has saved us. Awesome. Mm. Hey, that's beautiful. Quite a change of pace. So a desert, then hearth, and now we're finally at a beach with beautiful ladies. And Lancelot over here. Cool. I like this. Should be a pretty cool area. <clears throat> Woo -wee! You're not dead. <clears throat> Even you made it, Hunter. A pleasant surprise. Bless my heart. It, that was a shock. Uh, no. Womany. Old womany? Bless my heart. That was a shock. Are you alright? Do your phalanges hurt? Would you like a hot meal? I heard what that monster did to you. Sugar on toast. I nearly fainted. Welcome to my village, Chico Sands. There's little to see here besides me and Veilines, but it's home sweet home. Please, stay and rest for a while, my poor darlings. How much do you remember, Kindred Hunter? Did you see that dinged fool run that monster with a ship? Har -har? If he hadn't done that when he did, you and me would probably have gotten splattered into so many nautical nuggets. Very nice. Forgive me for being conscientious, conscientious Lord Scribe, but I could not allow a ship in distress to go without rescue. I am not certain that describing me as a danged fool is entirely spot, uh, apt, sir. Like I said, a danged fool, ha ha. Anywho, we managed to wash up on Chico Sands with all our bits intact. Oh, this isn't even Cathar. So we, like, what, had to make a pit stop? And let me tell ya, that says a lot about the men's craftsmanship and your bravery, kindred hunter, still. What do you think, uh, who do you think we bump in into the guild's most dangerous... Uh, bump into the guild's most dangerous mark? They've thrown all they've got at this thing. Even the ace hunters, and we still don't know. Uh, um, anyway. I think he's talking about the Gormagala. Uh, oh, oh, wait about it. Dang the luck. Uh? It has a name, at least. The Gormagala. It's a true menace. Vicious, unpredictable. Once its indiscriminate claws uh, have been wrought, it vain. It vanishes. Oh, chaos. Not class. We must learn its habitat, what sustains it, and then put an end to the creature as soon as possible, no matter what the cost. Lord Scribe, I must insist you leave this dangerous matter to me and the aces. No one expects you to be a hero. Arr. Shoot, son. We're just trying uh, to not collectively kick the bucket. That dangerous matter of yours came after us. Then might I advise you, enjoy a more capable hunter, or employ a more capable hunter, sir. What a douche! I am very capable, except for when it comes to reading text. Mm, hey, wow. Mmm, that's a low blow. I've got a keen eye for hunters. I know something special when I see it. Regardless, we'll take your sage, your sage advice and try not to stir up trouble uh, until we strike out to Cathar. What's that, darling? You mean you're trying to get to Cathar? I suppose no one's told you then. The village of Cathar was built way in high in the mountains. I'm afraid not even the finest ship can take you all the way up there. Uh, what? A, a village in the sky? Ooh, now that is a sour pickle. But I love pickles, ha ha, me too, man. So I say we hunker down and start fiddling some kind of... Okay, so we need to get to the sky, basically. Uh, and our boat doesn't do that. <clears throat> Granny, if you don't mind, we're gonna shack up in your village for a spell. Really? Goodness me, then could I ask the hunter one teensy favor? So recently, uh, a dull red, fully large monster was wandering into the vicinity of Chico Sands. Uh, at Song Song Io, you will find a young feline miss who is absolutely determined to protect the village. It's just off the shore from the beach. Be a dear and see what the miss has to say, would you? Okay. Chatted up with this chick. 
Uh, Chico Sands Market. He's a feline. Uh, Whoa there! Hello! Welcome to the Chico Market! Can I interest you in a purchase? From potions to antidotes, exhaust S and exhaust coating, we carry it all! Yeah, meow! Personally, recommendations are the hot drinks and deodorant. Say, say so long, the coldness is stickiness, meow. So what can I do for you? Well, that was unimportant. This way has to be important, though. I'm sorry there was so much dialogue. I know that's not very exciting, but I really want to get into a match. Some... Okay, beach house. Hey! Cute little kitty with a broom. Oh, guys. Yo, there's a... Oh, a sword in the stone. I must pull it. I ought to stop the cutscene so I can get to the sword. Oh. Yeah, this is a fine predicament. Uh... Whatever am I going to do? The palicos won't rally at my claws. The white scruff's too cowardly to be of any help. There's just no hope left, Nero. I sweep and sweep like feline paradise, but for what? I was ready to care for 20 palicos, but I haven't managed to whip to whisk up even one. I can't keep doing this alone. You know, a hunter. Oh, how mercury. Trifying. I don't know what that word is. Uh, how long have you been listening to me meowing? Well, don't just judge. Uh, don't go judging me because you see a moment of weakness. I have a brow and I'm ready to use it. Uh, broom. A large monster is closing in in the village and I mean to protect it. That's why I've been looking for brave and strong wild palicos to join us. Okay. I already know what's going on here. It's not particularly important to the, to the mission, so I'm just going to stop. Basically, you can recruit more Palicos. We already have Bilbo, but you can record, recruit more and more. What a show off. Bilbo. Did you just catch an arrow? <laughs> like, I'm applauding in the back. That was awesome. All right, so. Yeah, the Fireline physique. If anything's possible, look in your eye. It can't be, is it? You're the ace Palico, meow. I can't believe I'm standing in front of the biggest hero of yours. So our Palico is famous, yo. Wasn't very hard to send him help immediately, but Whiskers, that's incredible! Ace, really? You and your other minions are willing to put your fur on the line and go rescue the wild palico? You're so dreamy, meow. Alright. So it looks like we need to go catch, or save a palico, but I'm really just not... We can't even get to the sword. Okay. I'm really just not concerned with this because it's kind of wasting our time right now. Because it doesn't deal with the main quest. But, like I was saying before, you can recruit more Palicos inside missions. Uh, you'll find them in little areas. And then you can basically go into the mission... Or, I'm sorry. Basically put them there, and then bring more than one Palico into your missions. Done. Wow, that was an ordeal in a, in a half. I'm glad no one was hurt. The Arlurk... And it's everything doodle. I've never seen a monster like that of any kind in my books. Seriously, it looked downright ominous, huh? Its wings spread in front of us like a freaking cloud trying to swallow us very soon. Too dramatic, anyway. You saved our uh, butts and thank you. Plus, we accidentally washed up in the secret location of Chico Sands. What are the odds? Chico Sands isn't your everyday village. It's entirely uh, feline. Plus one Wyvarian chief. Oh, high fantasy. Let's break out our D20s. I mean, let's decide what we need to do here. What's that? A wild Palico wants you to help him. Yes, that's, that's what I'm here for. Let's just get into the mission. I'm sorry if you like reading the text, um, but I really am not going to right now. All right, research Vesarios. Well, that's a mission we haven't done yet, but before that, this is the mission. Wild Palico panic. And let's do it. After doing the store items? No. We have all that we need, and all that we have is all that we need. Let's go. Into fight. Oh, a deep forest. In the depths of the forest, where ancient creatures once roamed, you, the ancient mighty hunter, must find the palico who is being terrorized. All right. Doodle, it's that time again. Adventure time. That's right. It is adventure time. Apparently, help the wild calico before uh, it gets its butt kicked. Okay, here's an item we have not seen. Deodorant. Uh, an item that causes... That cures stench. Okay. 
Well, here's hoping we don't get stinged, whatever that is. And we didn't eat before this, which is a bummer. Look at this slag off. What a butt. I've actually uh, seen those in an expedition before, that's why I didn't stop for very long. But that is a new herbivore that we have yet to see. Now, if I'm correct, the palico is right up here. Look at this new area, though. We've got the net. We've kind of seen that before, though. But through this little hole, which is a little bit hidden, we will find what we are searching for. Oh. Oh, monkey. Oh, nasty monkey. No, palicos. Run for your lives. Mm, every palico for himself. That thing is nasty looking. It had claws. Hey, look, a mushroom on a tail. I've had enough of this. Oh, I'll get you. You can't take my home. Oh. What the frick? That was bad. And I guess that would explain stench. Does this monster really... F I mean, it does. This monster farts on you. No, I'm, not, I'm, not, I'm not even going to act like I don't know what's going on. This, this is a disgusting monster. All right. The Kongalala. That is what it is referred to as. Mm. Well, we saved the Palico, which is great. He's adorable. He just got shit on. Or, I'm sorry. He just got crapped on. Oh, snap. I can't believe I said that. Okay. Oh, thank goodness. You found the wild Palico, and he looks no worse for the wear. In fact, he looks fit as a fiddle. Maybe he could even help you out instead of the other way around. What say we put him to work? Don't worry, I'll teach you how to wild how to I'll teach you how to wild palicos. Oh, sorry, how to hire. Okay. Anyway, so we get to hire him. Consider the initial conversation like a recruiting session. Go ahead, Doodle, see what the wild palico has to say. Oh, and after that, don't forget, you still have a Congalala to hunt. Well let's chill up with this guy. Calico. Mm, hunter, need a palico? My forte is healing, meow. Um I live for making you live longer. Say farewell to losing health and debilitating conditions, because this palico has you covered. Meow. Well, palico scouted, and healing palicos sound like a really good thing. Bilbo does that a little bit, but uh, maybe he's not specialized in it, and someone else is. How do I get out of here? Where is the exit, yo? Uh, oh, there we go. So we scouted him, but it looks like he doesn't join us on this mission. Perhaps just another? Do you want to be scouted? Veggie Elder. No, okay. He gave me an antidote, though. Ah! The Kongalala! You fiend. I'll have your disgusting head for this. After I miss my first attack on you. Oh, what the frick? No! So he vomits and poos on you. I use some deodorant to get that off of me, and now I'm gonna kick his butt. I mean, maybe not his butt, because I don't want to stand behind him either. I'm gonna hit him from the side, because that looks like the only place that he can't spew disgusting excretions at me from. Alright, let's hit him in the head. Indeed, sire. And he's looks like he's crawling under? Okay, I don't know if I want to fight him under or on top of the canopy. Well, he wants to come back up, so... Nope! Get out of the way! Yes, I've dodged your stench! Excuse me, sir. Oh, what?! I was not even close to that in my personal opinion. It looks like it did a lot of damage, though. Yes, get knocked down. And don't get up again. Oh! The mushroom's not in his tail anymore. Oh, because he ate it! Is that what he went underground to do? To eat that mushroom? Just so everyone knows, he now has poison breath because he ate a poison mushroom. Pongalala always carry mushrooms with them, but sometimes they do different things. Um, and they give him an elemental attribute, so now he's actually poisonous. And I was busy reloading my axe, that's why that hit me. So let's heal. And let's smack him when he falls down right here. Wah! Dodge it. No, okay, not really. Dude, don't be a butt. Ah, oh, I was not even close to that. We cannot die. We're not dying. 
don't jump on me. Fortunately, we do have one antidote. And we're down to our last first aid medicine already. This monster is a douche. Well, sir. Did he just pick up another mushroom? I would be pissed. And he's up top again. I want to lead him down here because I feel like there's nothing up there that I can use to mount him. Um, and at this point, I would like... Oh, he changed areas. I mean, he kind of went this way. Right? Ish. Yes, he did. Oh, look at the big mountains and the forest and stuff. Oh, look, a tiny one. Okay, that was a hit, fortunately. And if he's down, I can hit him in the same... Oh! He's got moves, man. Just fall down. Thank you. I'll just take my country pork rinds and go die. Yeah. Oh, the stuns. And I have stun resistance, so. Don't do it, don't do it. No, I need to move farther. All right. His elemental attribute is gone, though. We can see he's vomiting again instead of the acidic crap that was going on. I just don't want to get hit again. Okay, let's lead him off this edge so we can try and get a mount on him. Well. I just missed those. That was embarrassing. Come on, man. This way. He dropped a shiny. Oh, crap. I think he's going to go looking for mushrooms. But I, that's something I do not want him to get to. Oh, uh, that's poison. I'm not going over there. Dang it, dude! So that purple stuff is poison. If I had followed him into it, I would be uh, in a bad spot. So he pretty much got to go over there and like eat something and heal himself um, for free because I couldn't follow him. Which is a real douche move. You know what? I'm going to jump off this on you. Wrong way. There we go. Let's do it again. You freaking... Ah, I'm above you! Your time has come! Oh, look, he's so low already. We can destroy him. Down! <clears throat> he's got like a little, like, pompadour looking hairstyle. Unless it's a horn. It might be a horn. It's a horn. Oh well. You are so nasty. I think you should die. Oh, that's a shout? Or a roar? Sorry, not a shout. We're not a, we're, we're not in Skyrim. You douche. Ah, we knocked him down. Let's get our big hits in. Let's switch up our combo to maximize our... Oh, that was nothing. I thought he was going to do something. Tried to fake me out. Ouchies, that hurt. We might have to pop an herb. Ooh, he was chasing. Okay, we can see he's really tired. Oh, I wanted to jump right there, but I guess not. Knock down our pillar. Oh, what the nasty- Oh, you little- What the frick? The little one can poop on you, too. I've had about enough of these nasty monkeys. I wasn't gonna kill you, bro. But you took it too far. Gross. Do I really- Oh, it actually counted as getting stench. Deodorant. Ever important. If you don't use deodorant, I do recommend that you do, because uh, no one really likes to be around super smelly people. I'm going to tell you from experience, deodorant's very important. Okay, he ran this way. It, it looked like he didn't run this way. 
It really looked like it though, right? So let's find his sleeping area then, because it, did he stumble off or did he just run off? I feel like we would have done a lot of damage to him. We'll climb this ancient tree. There he is. I found his nest. Oh, I thought he was sleeping, but he's 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 awake. No, 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 move. Yes. Ah, I've dodged your foul odor. I didn't dodge that, though. He definitely ate a mushroom. It looks like he's got poison again. I can tell from, like, the puff. What? Is his belly, like, armored? Is that why he does that? Because we deflected off of it. Um, anyway, I can tell from that little, like, puff in front of his face that he has an element. I'm pretty sure he just threw crap at us, too. Why does that stun? Also, when he like turns turns to the left or right, if you're standing there, you take damage just from him turning. Which is kind of crappy. Okay, we need to sharpen our sword. And we also need to pop more herbs. But he ran again. I'm assuming after food, food since he did like that sniffing thing. So let's get out of here. And finish this douche off. Oh look, we landed on that. Um, which exit? This one? This exit. Yeah, this one. Cool. Is it this one? Well, he's not here. Perhaps he is... Back in the first area that we fought him in. Nope. I should have paintballed him, though. I, I'm gonna admit, uh, I like... My one... I mean, there are many flaws in my hunting capabilities, but... One of the major ones is that I just don't paintball monsters. I don't know what my deal is. I just don't think about it. I don't think it's like the most necessary thing in the world um but i do appreciate when people like on my team paintball monsters to track them i just don't do it myself okay he went up top is it there... oh close but i want you dead man I want you dead man wonderland. Don't do it. That's right on me. Oh, why did I roll that way? Okay, pop the herb. Don't die, don't die, don't die. Good. We don't have an antidote. We don't have an antidote. Oh my glob. Mm. Are we serious right now? I am really, really sure... That that is the first time we have ever fainted in this entire Let's Play. What the heck? If I'm wrong, feel free to correct me. I don't think I am. I'm sorry that had to happen. Gosh. Okay. Well, now I'm upset. Because I just got fainted by, like, the crappiest monster in the game, literally. Literally the crappiest. It's on. It's I can't. I won't even say it's on like Donkey Kong because this fool is a freaking monkey. It's on like Donkey Kong if he was about to get murdered. That's what it's on like. Gosh. He's sleeping. That is good news for us, guys. I'm about to pull this sword out right on your freaking face. Break that stupid horn of yours. Shut that mouth forever. Yeah, you better be flinching. Look at that. Run. 
He was crying like a witch. Get the frick out of here. What are you doing? Just run already. Don't nobody want to see you. How do we get off this? Not this way. I don't... Okay. I'm just going to point this out really quick. Don't jump off this side. That's poison down there. Find another way to get off of this net. Is there another way to get off of this net? Yes, yeah, right here. You don't do it. Oh, good. His buddy hit him. He was like, nah, bro. You don't want to die today. Don't poo on that guy. Good advice. At least there's one semi-intelligent conga. This monkey's dead, though. Your reign of terror will soon come to an end. Attacking tiny kitty cats? Ouch. Don't do it. Don't hit me. Alright, douche nuggets. Yes! Flinch! You've managed to faint the hunter. It was a fluke. You're worthless. I don't even care if you roar, bro. I don't even care. Go die. Right up your butt. That's where my sword is going, bro. Mmm. Frick yeah. Oh, did you just flinch me in death? This was such a douche. Alright. What a freaking douche, man. I hope he still has a little bit of nerves left in him so he can feel this car. That's a little gruesome. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I just, I, you know, I don't faint often in this game. I like to think I am I am a mediocre player and I don't die very well, very often. So, the frick, dude. Take this. Just take it. Yeah. Yeah. All right, guys. Well, <clears throat> as enjoyable as this has been, I think I need to go take a freaking break to get this douche out my head. Ignore what's happening on the screen right now. That was just, you know, uh, <clears throat> I had an itch. Freaking douche. Okay, well, it's been an exciting episode, I think. Yeah, everybody everybody have fun. We got to read lots and lots of dialogue, and then we got killed by a freaking... Oh, look. Oh, okay. Hiring a Palico. So we can see his stats right here. So uh, his forte is healing. His team attack is Pertuoso. Uh, he's balanced. He's Calico. That's his uh, coloring, I guess. Uh, ability is Parting Gift. I don't know what that is. Um... And that's pretty much it. Non-stick fur, obstinance. He, it looks like a recovery boost. And casting machine. So what, he can give us like a fishing boost and then he can heal us. And then those are his weapons. I'll blow a health horn or drop recovery items if you get in a predicament. Uh, I'll use a... Mm, Meowximus health and stamina to heal you. Or I'll up... I'll, okay. He'll up our max health. Cool. Well, we'll hire him, and we'll give him a name, uh, which you can't see on the screen, but it's on the bottom one. I don't know what we should name him. We have Bilbo. How about this guy be? Um, I don't want to. I don't want to stick with like the Lord of the Rings thing. If anyone was like Pippin, name him Pippin. No. Um, Bilbo and. Um, Bilbo and there we go, Bilbo and Trevor. Is that the greatest name in the world? Well, if your name is Trevor, then I'm gonna say yes. 
if your name is not Trevor, then everyone else, I don't know if Trevor is really the greatest name in the world. But that is the longest Kalala we've, we've ever defeated because it's the only one. All right, good. Guild card upgraded. Kangalala will now show up in Expeditions. And that was quite a piece of work. I'm sure it's going to show us the kitty cats that we saved. <laughs> ah, the Ace Douche over there. And Gunner Girl. Ace Gunner, Ace Lancer, everyone's here. Ah, uh, uh, it's good to see you again. Good luck on your mission, because it looks like they're going on a mission. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> you young fool. You're gonna get your butt kicked. Ah, the great hunter returns. That's right. Okay. Well, let's talk. You know what? I don't even want to talk to anyone else this episode. We have done that mission. We figured out we can hire more palicos to help us out. Um... I think you can have three with you if you're a single player, if you're playing with another person. The max is like four people in a party. So if you have four people, you don't have any cats. If you have two people, you have two cats. Anyway, playing solo, we can have three cats with us, which is great. Uh, so we found out we can hire more of those. We encountered the Gormagala for the first time and got shipwrecked in Chico Sands, which is where we are currently. Just to wrap up the episode, that's what's been going on. And we got fainted by a Congolala. But that's not important. What's important is, if you guys made it to the end, I appreciate you so much. I hope you enjoyed that battle. I'm sorry I fainted. Um, let's just not talk about it ever again. How about that? Or if we do talk about it, we can say, like, I fainted during the Gormagala fight, right? Yeah, how did that happen? How did I make it through an entire fight with a Gormagala without fainting, but I got killed by a freaking Kongalala? <clears throat> I'm upset. Well, I'm going to go chill out after this nonsense. Thank you guys for watching. Uh, if you liked it, leave a like. Let me know. Uh, also, leave comments down below. And I will tell everyone right now, online play is in the works. I think I found some people that um, that I, I match up well with. And we can kind of make things work. They're a little bit newer at the game than I am. Uh, but maybe we can get that online content coming out to you in the next few weeks here. Uh, once more, thank you guys. You're awesome. Leave comments down below. I respond really quick if you ever want to talk or if you want to go on a hunt. I also have a Twitter. The Twitter is in the description down below. Follow me. I let everyone know when I play online and things like that. You also get updates on my videos. That's pretty much it. Eat your heart out, YouTube. Y'all have a great day.